Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five day per week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 684 of our trek, and it is time for our Mind Shift Monday series. Wisdom Trek's primary focus is to assist you in creating your living legacy. Creating your living legacy can only be accomplished by gaining wisdom in many areas of life. You can only gain wisdom by changing what you allow to go into your mind, which will result in changing the way you think. In other words, to create a living legacy, you must choose to be in continual mode of mind shift. It is easy to get stuck in the mindset that your current situations or circumstances cannot be changed, but this is not true. But you must understand this fundamental principle. In order to change your life, you must change how you think and what you think about. Our Mind Shift Monday podcast and journal will provide you with practical ways to make that mind shift to a rich and satisfying life. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Paul and I had an enjoyable and productive previous two weeks. We invested 10 days in Arizona working with our partners on our construction projects and five days in Anaheim, California, attending the annual podcast movement conference. It was great to learn and to visit with our friends in the podcast community. I had the opportunity to speak at the conference as one of 12 speakers in the PMX speaker competition. All the speakers were excellent, and while I did not win the competition, it was an honor to be able to participate. I spoke on the art of captivating storytelling through podcasting. While I do have room for improvement in my public speaking, I do enjoy the opportunity. I choose to take advantage of these opportunities whenever they do become available. It is also our choosing to have the mindset to live up to our God-given potential. God desires for us to soar to the greatest heights possible. When we choose otherwise, we minimize what God has planned for us. So in our check for today, we will explore how to live to your full potential. Very few, if any persons, live up to their God-given potential. From the beginning of creation, this has been the fact. Adam failed to become all that his creator, God, intended for him to be. A perfect relationship between God and humanity became imperfect. A life of discovery and joy became a life of drudgery. Beauty was replaced with ashes. Serenity was washed away with sweat. Thorns and weeds placed the flowers, and sin placed an ugly mark on humanity. And why is this? Because Adam and Eve failed to become all that God intended them to be. The greatest waste of energy in our world is not that of electricity or other fuels. The greatest energy waste today is unused potential within the lives of people. How about you? If each of us would raise our potential level just 25%, just think about how different our world would be for the better. Let us explore three waypoints on our trek for today that will enable you to become more of the person that God desires for you to be. The first waypoint is discover your potential. I read a story about a young farm boy whose father raised chickens in the mountains of Colorado. One day, this adventurous boy climbed to a high place in the mountains and found an eagle's nest. Discovering an unhatched egg, he brought it back with him to the farm and slipped it under the setting hen. The hen didn't know any different and instinctively sat on her eggs until they hatched. So out came the eaglet with the chicks, and they all lived together as a family of chickens. The young eaglet did not know the difference and assumed that he looked like all the other chicks. For a while, he was content scratching the ground for worms and other food as he saw his mother do. Just like the eaglet, when you remain in a small crowd, you will remain small yourself. If you live with critical people, you tend to become critical. If you associate with negative, defeated people, you will more likely be negative and defeated also. Even if you are an eagle, if you live with chickens, you become like the chickens. As the eaglet grew, he felt strange stirrings within himself. When he flapped his wings, it would cause much more disturbance than when his siblings did. He began to think that maybe there was something more for him than just being a chicken, but he did not know anything else. That is, until one day an eagle flew over the chicken yard, and the little eaglet thought, I am like that eagle. As the weeks went on, the eaglet felt the strength in his wings and thought, This chicken yard is not for me. I want to see the sky and the mountain peaks. Although he had never flown, as he flapped his wings, he began to be lifted from the ground, and his instincts took over. He soared to a high hill, and then into the blue sky, where he landed on a mountain crag and discovered that indeed he could fly. One of the greatest days of your life will be when you begin to realize your true potential. You are special in God's eyes. You have distinct gifts and talents. You have shoes to fill that no one else can fill. Our second waypoint is to dedicate your potential. 
Allow God to fully develop you by dedicating yourself to Him. Since God created you for a purpose, it is only with God that you have become all that He intends you to be. The Apostle Paul recognized this fact when he wrote Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. And the third waypoint today is to develop your potential. God's gift to you is your potential. What you do with that potential is your gift to God. God is not only concerned with what you are today, but what you can become. To develop your potential to its fullest capacity, it will be necessary to focus on these four following areas. First, develop a positive self-image. When your self-image improves, your performance improves. Your actions and results are a direct result of how you see yourself. When you feel good about yourself, you will begin to feel good toward others. The better your self-image becomes, the greater the development of your potential. Second, realize that you are responsible for developing your potential. It is important to understand and realize that God is more concerned about what you can become than what you are today. Jesus taught in Luke chapter 12, verse 48, When someone has been given much, much will be required in return. And when someone has been entrusted with much, even more will be required. Third, development of your potential is more important than the mistakes that you may make. God does not have a club in his hand, waiting to beat down the desires to live an effective life. He has a hand outstretched to help you to develop a life that is rich and satisfying, which can only happen when we fulfill our God-given potential. And fourth, learn from others who are successful in developing their potential. Throughout recorded history, we have seen once unimaginable goals and records achieved. And once that happens, many more people will achieve that same record. What is your capacity? This is hard for others to say, but it's probably greater than you can ever imagine. With these thoughts in mind, let me challenge you to discover your full potential. Dedicate it to God and then have a mind shift that you will become all that you're capable of. Change your self-image, realize your responsibility, and acknowledge that God will help you to reach a potential that He has planned for you. Next week, we will continue our trek on our Mind Shift Monday. On tomorrow's trek, though, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. Thank you for joining me for this trek that we call life. And encourage your friends and family to join us. And to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read the daily journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe at iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, and to others generously lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.